I'm going to karaoke with Tomei. And yeah, so I just wanted to kind of show y'all, you know, what I had going on before I go in. And yeah, you know, get your crystal necklaces from lusciouslaveau.com. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going in there with Tomei to do a little karaoke and I'll check back in with y'all later. It's me in the middle of the street for me with the heels on, baby. Oh, y'all can't even see. So I'm downtown and the parking is horrible, okay? And then they want to charge you a million dollars to park. Like, no. So I'm having to walk a little, trek a little ways to get to um to the place. So yeah. But this is my location. Right here I think it's called Showtime, Prime Time, I don't know, Showtime. She didn't convince me. Y'all know my old ass be tired and sleepy. Mm -hmm. 
So y'all, I made it home and my eye is still red. I forgot to record and tell y'all what happened with my eyelash extensions. <sighs> yeah, that was a lot. Ooh. Okay, why is this one on so tight? What is going on? Ooh. So, long story short, I came down my eyelashes and since she's done yesterday. And basically, child, like this eye, for some reason, it just would not stop like running. And it was just amazing. It was like, it started to get painful. But I was so I had to go and get them removed. Like, I waited overnight because. I was like, it may stop. Maybe it's just a little irritated, but it didn't stop running. And then I felt like it was one to swell up. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to take that risk. Um, so, yeah, that's. So I had to come on and put on strip patches, but whatever. And now my eye is still red, though. That's some pink eye stuff, which is what I'm probably going to put in it to help out. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I made it home. And y'all, I was supposed to have a date this weekend. And I don't know if it's happening right now. It's on hold. Yeah, I really don't care you want to tell me I like how I am sucking so bad at this dating stuff and uh, yeah I'm sucking so bad <laughs> and um the things that be happening but like I'm really working through a lot of stuff so I don't know it's kind of like I don't really want to say too much just because like I'm trying to work through it as I go but it's just a lot of things internally with me and honestly sometimes a specific person like in their behavior will even though their behavior it may not be right or who knows but it'll kind of teach you some things about yourself that you need to learn for instance like if i give an example it's like i'm like really big on communication and, um, you know, I'm a little traumatized from an ex that, like, communication was really bad. And he would do stuff like set up a date and then flake on the date or whatever and not say anything. Like, basically kind of go start. Maybe he had something to do for his mom or something that would stop him from doing what he needs to do with me. And if something came up. Instead of him like saying something, he would just not say anything and then he would wait for me to like lose my shit and then tell me or be like, I didn't want to disappoint you or I didn't want to see you upset or whatever. And I'm like, fucking asshole, you don't think that I would be more upset if you don't say anything and now I'm feeling like abandoned in, in some way, shape or form because I already got abandonment issues and like you didn't think that you should say something and just be like hey you know I can't make it or whatever so in this new dating scene you know one particular person that I actually like to this hard for me to like somebody I'll be scared to like people because you know when I like you I like you and if you do some shit that will make me I like you I'm gonna not like you very hard. 
and you're not going to be able to come back from it. But long story short, it's like, I don't know. The, the, I can't even say. I can't even explain it, but me and like inconsistent communication is just a trigger for me from trauma. And what I say is like I'm learning is because I'm learning from it. Um, whether this is something that goes further or not, I am learning that I cannot be so impulsive and I also cannot be impatient. Now, there is certain things that I feel like this person can do better or do more, right? So I'm not negating from that, but in the same breath, it's kind of like, okay, at the stage that you are in now, you know, nobody owes nobody anything. Now, do I feel like a person that at least owe you decent communication if you are talking or trying to get to know each other or whatever you're doing with each other? Yes, I do. So that is kind of where I like struggle of straddling the line, like with the whole date thing, because it can just get weird. Like it can get weird of like the lines. They get very, very blurred. So it's like old me when he kind of was like, oh yeah, I might have to cancel or whatever, reschedule, you know, because of a situation. Like it's like, what? Like, you know, we've been planning this for however long, so really I don't give a fuck about what you got going on. But that, <laughs> that is old, involved, like me that's like, no, 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 you already don't, do not flake on me because the abandonment issues are real. But I'm doing shadow work and I'm trying to heal that. So certain things I do have to, I can't pounce on because I need to learn how to deal with it. If I'm ever going to get over abandonment issues, you know what I'm saying? Do, am I making sense to y'all? I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, so even in the things that I don't agree with that I may say is like, this is you shouldn't be doing this when you're dating or you shouldn't be you should be behaving better when you're dating um people or trying to date people or trying to get to know people whatever it's kind of like i'm learning from all these experiences good and bad but i don't know i mean it's because i do like the person so and i know me like once i once i'm off you and i just back off you i'm just off you and Unfortunately, it hasn't been long enough to where I feel like that person has really gotten a chance to really know me for who I really am. And you know, like, I, because I know that once you really, really know me, and once, like, we have interacted enough, like, I am somebody that you would be a fool to like let out of your life, whether it was as a friend, a, a girlfriend, whatever, like you would be a fucking fool. Like that would be an L for you. And I'd be trying to save them from the L and I never can. And then they want to come back and talk to me or whatever and later when you realize that you took a fucking L, like a big one. But anyway, okay, I'm gone for real this time. Let me know what y'all think about this dating stuff. Like, are any of you dating right now? Like, dating multiple people or trying to figure it out or whatever? Like, I'm literally just getting back into it. Um, And it's crazy because you would think, like, it's low-key kind of hard to meet people these days. Like... And I think that's why it gets so easy for you to get entangled in one person because it's really hard to meet anybody that's even halfway decent for you to like go on a date, you know? This is just a bad angle and I'm just, ugh. but yeah, it's like, it's not as easy. You know what I'm saying? To meet somebody that you even want to go on a date with. And I really hate the dating apps 
I do them because technically I don't have a choice right now, you know? But because I'm not really meeting people out. And even when I go out, like dudes now are like huddled up in a group with each other. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you not? Cause I talk to women and stuff. Weird. But anyway. Oh, let me turn this off. I think this is probably gonna be the end of the vlog. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Depending on if anything happens tomorrow, I do anything tomorrow. Then I feel like y'all would want to see this. I'm gonna bore you to death. 